All right, so this is gonna be a video about converting an equation from standard form of a quadratic to vertex form. Now to do this, first thing I'm gonna start with is what vertex form even looks like. So I'm gonna kind of just write this off to the side right here. So it should look like A times the quantity of X minus H quantity squared plus K. So we basically wanna get this blue to look like this green right here. So in order to do this, um, we're gonna to have to use actually completing the square technique to, 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 to figure this out. So first thing that we wanna do here is I am going to factor out this negative two that's in the front, okay? So factor out the negative two and you're gonna get X squared minus two X minus three. Okay, from here we want to uh, complete the square for this, this, uh, this, this quadratic part that's in parentheses right here. So in order to do that, First thing I'm gonna do is kind of spread out this equation a little bit. So I'm gonna have the x squared here, minus two x, and then I'm going to kind of put this minus three over here. Now in order to make this part right here a perfect square, I need to divide this b term, this negative two by two, and then square it. So negative two divided by two would be negative one, and then squaring it, that would be positive one. Now because I added a positive one there, I need to counteract that in order for this equation to still be equal to what it was. So since it's a plus one here, I'm also gonna have a minus one here. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of close the parentheses right there. So this minus, this plus one and this minus one technically do cancel out, but we're just using this plus one here to uh, complete the square. Okay, from here, I'm going to rewrite the y equals here with the negative two. And then here, I'm actually going to write down what this is as a perfect square. In this case, it would be x minus one quantity squared, okay? And then this right here is negative three minus one, that would be negative four. Okay, so this underline in green right here is representing this right here, what's underlined. Um, that's just what it is as a perfect square. Um, so I just basically just factored it into the squared form. Okay, from here, it's starting to look more and more like this vertex form, but there is one more thing that we're gonna have to do here, and that's distribute this negative two out to each of these terms. So that's what we're gonna do here. So you'll have negative two times this x minus one quantity squared, and then this negative two times this negative eight here, and then that would be a plus eight. So now we end up having vertex form that kind of matches what we have right up here. Um, in this case also, it's important to note that this vertex form will actually tell us the coordinate of what the vertex is. In this case, it's whatever that h comma k is. So this would actually be the coordinate for the vertex. So for this particular problem, the vertex is going to be at one comma eight. Okay, so that would actually be the coordinate of the vertex. Now I know it's not really asking for that in this problem, but I just thought if, uh, since we're going over vertex form, might as well just kind of mention it right here. So that is how to convert standard form into vertex form. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.